Welcome to the demonstration of 32Soft's AP Voucher Data Loader. AP Voucher Data Loader, as all 32Soft data loaders, is designed as an Excel spreadsheet that allows you to massively create or update data in QAD directly from Excel. Data loader templates can be stored on your computer, opened from the network drive, or a cloud. Excel Interface offers tons of flexibility when it comes to reviewing and analyzing information. Let's take a look. As we see, the AP Voucher Data Loader has separate tabs for maintaining inventory and non-inventory vouchers. After we've opened our loader and selected the appropriate tab, the next thing we need to do is to click on the Setup button to select the QAD database we will be connecting to. There may be more than one database in this list. When working with inventory vouchers, we start by analyzing unvouchered PO receipts. We can download all unvouchered receipts for a specified date range, PO, or site. To do this, we enter selection criteria in the header. Effective date and voucher currency are mandatory. If we leave receipt date range blank, by default, it will be set to the 90 days prior to the effective date. For this demonstration, we'll specify date range. Once we've entered all selection criteria, we simply click on the Download button. As soon as we select any action button for the first time, a login screen appears. As with all of 32Soft's data loaders, AP Voucher uses native QAD authentication logic to validate user ID and password. So, before we can pull information from QAD, the loader will check to see if we are authorized to maintain vouchers in QAD. We are able to use Voucher Data Loader only if we have a valid QAD user ID, password, and access to QAD's 28.1 Voucher Maintenance Menu. Let's go ahead and log in. If user authentication is successful, details of unvouchered PO receipts that match the selection criteria we specified in the header will be downloaded into Excel. For all the receipts, we'll see PO number, receiver number, quantity open, and PO cost. Leave only lines that have been invoiced and we'll be creating vouchers for. Now we can compare this information to the invoice received from suppliers and enter invoice date, number, quantity, and amount. Let's go ahead and enter our data. When quantity invoiced is less than quantity open, we can write off the difference by setting the field close partial to yes. Also, we can add additional lines to the vouchers, for example, freight charges. For additional lines, we can specify account, sub-account, cost center, and project details. We can enter a description. Before uploading data into QAD, we verify all information has been entered correctly, and we switch the voucher column to Yes. Then we can click on the Upload button. As with all of our data loaders, AP Voucher Loader performs data validation before creating vouchers in QAD. If any errors are detected, the upload attempt will be canceled and cells with invalid values will be highlighted in red, which is what we see here. If we mouse over the red cell, we'll see the reason for the error. In our case, the date is not valid. We're missing an invoice date. Once all errors have been fixed, we can attempt the upload again. If all our data is correct, vouchers will be uploaded into QAD and an assigned voucher number will be returned into the voucher number column. For this demonstration, we have created two separate vouchers for two separate invoices we've received from our supplier. We can select a specific voucher and click on View Voucher to see details of the voucher created in QAD. We can do the same to see the details of any voucher. Also, by selecting Supplier Code, we can review its balance and activity by clicking on Supplier Balance. If vouchers are created in our system, as confirmed, we will also see newly created vouchers there. These are the two vouchers we just created.
If, for example, we received an invoice from a specific supplier, we can download open receipts only for this specific supplier. Let's clear the screen and we need to enter supplier code in the supplier column. If we don't know supplier code in QAD, we can search for it by name or code by typing in the supplier column just partial name or code and click on Lookup. The list of matching suppliers from QAD will be displayed. After we select the supplier from the list, we can click on the Download button and unvouchered receipts for this supplier only will be downloaded into Excel. We can then select another supplier and match unvouchered receipts and another supplier. Then, after entering all invoices, just click the Upload button to massively create vouchers in QAD and put them into one batch. To create vouchers for non-inventory items, for example, services, we will need to switch to the Non-Inventory tab. Here, we can start by entering information in the line details either by keying in or by copy-pasting from another spreadsheet. If we have recurring invoices, for example a monthly utility bill, we can download the last invoice for the supplier from QAD and use it as a template. We just need to enter supplier code and then click on Download. Details from the most recent invoice for the selected supplier will download into Excel. We will see the voucher number and can look up voucher details in QAD. Now we will need to enter new invoice number and amounts and clear the voucher number column. Invoice date, as you may have noticed, is automatically preset to the current date, but we can overwrite it. We'll go ahead and we'll change the invoice date. After entering voucher details, we can click on Upload. If the upload is successful, a voucher number assigned by QAD will be returned into Excel and we'll be able to view details. Non-inventory vouchers can be used for other situations when we need to process payments from QAD. A good example would be customer rebates. We can obtain rebate details from accounts receivable reports in QAD, copy and paste them into AP Voucher Loader, and create tens or hundreds of vouchers in QAD with a click of a button. Another example where non-inventory vouchers are very helpful is when processing sales representatives' commissions. This was just a short demonstration of 32Soft's AP Voucher Data Loader to give you an overview of available functionality and show how you can increase efficiency of your accounts payable process. Regardless of voucher type, inventory or non-inventory, with AP Voucher Loader, the tedious and labor-intensive tasks of creating vouchers in QAD becomes a quick, simple, and easy element of your accounts payable process. It shortens the processing time, improves cash flow, makes internal users happier, and strengthens and improves relationships with suppliers, since you will be less likely to miss a payment due to a lost invoice. For more information about this and other productivity tools, or to start your free 60-day trial, email us at contact at 32soft.com. And please be sure to visit our website to sign up for our free educational webinars, www.32soft.com. Thank you for your interest in our productivity tools and for taking the time to view this demonstration.